Nathaniel P. Hoot, we have still a sign. And the other day, I was standing around in my bar. I'd done all my stock taking and I just didn't know what to do with myself for the rest of the day. Uh, I was feeling a little bit bored. And then I heard a knock at the door. And I, I thought, is this going to be someone nice or is it going to be some, some bitch coming to cause me trouble? And I, I nearly didn't actually open the door. I thought I was just, just going to leave it, and then, and then there was a bang again. And they sounded very insistent, so so I, I thought I'll just open it. What, what the hell? I'll just open it. And, I, and I, I couldn't believe who the hell was there. And he said to me, "Miss Mr. Fortescue and and Mr. Marmaduke seem to have gone missing." When, when I was I was here six weeks ago, and and your horse <laughs> threw me in the dumpster. When I, I woke the following day, I discovered that Mr. Fortescue and Miss Mr. Marmaduke had disappeared, and I, I haven't been able to find them. I, I've gone to all the usual places they like to go, and and they don't seem to be anywhere. I I I I, I don't know what could have happened. It was that goddamn British Sean bitch. I, I, th I thought I was never going to see that, see that asshole again. There he was, bold as brass, standing at my goddamn door, looking for his imaginary friends, or ghosts, whatever the hell they are. And I was not pleased, son. I, I was just about ready to, to, to boot that son bitch down the street. Uh, but... <laughs> I, I was just in, in a total state of disbelief that this guy was coming back again. And why, why does he keep coming back? Why does he keep reappearing in my life? And then he suddenly looked over my, my shoulder and, and he said, Oh, oh, they're, they're over there. It's, it's Mr. Marmaduke and Mr. Fortescue that in your bar. And they're sat by the fireside. Uh, what, what's that? Mr. Fortescue says they've been here the whole time. They've been with you. They've been with you for the past six weeks. And they've been accompanying you on your adventures. Uh, what? Son? His imaginary friends or ghosts have been with me on my adventures. Uh, they kind of gave me the creeps a little bit, son. Uh, I thought, if they're imaginary friends, it's not creepy. Well, it kind of is creepy because it means this guy is insane. But if they're ghosts, that really gave me the creeps. I, I, that really freaked me out if they've been uh, with me on, on my adventures. And then, then the British song bitch said, they, they told me they've decided to live with you for good because they're rather ashamed to be seen with me now because after your horse knocked me out and dragged me from this bar, they, they were so embarrassed that I've been defeated. And, and they said they, they couldn't possibly be with me anymore. And that they've rather come to like you. They've become accustomed to being around you, Mr. Hoot Whistle. And, and they'd rather like to stay with you for the rest of your life. That's my goddamn life, son. I, I don't think so, son. If they're... they're there goes. I, I don't want them following me around for the rest of my damn life. Because if they're really just his imaginary friends, it doesn't matter, does it? It's just, just this crazy, crazy crap that this British guy is, is talking, and I, I've got to just tell him to get away from my bar. And then he said something I didn't expect him to say, and, and he looked at me and he said, 
Mr. Fortescue and Mr. Marmaduke came with you on your world cruise. And, and they said they, they thought it was rather funny when you tricked everyone to jump off the ship and took the ship for yourself and enjoy the rest of the world cruise alone on your ship. And they were with you the whole time. So if that's true, Simon, that means they really are ghosts. And they've been with me on my adventures. Well, why didn't they help me out then, Simon? If these ghosts have been with me on my adventures, why didn't they help me? When I was kidnapped by aliens last week, why didn't they do a thing? Why didn't they lift a damn finger to help me? And I said that to this, this guy. I said, well, how come they didn't help me last week? Uh, and he just said, Mr. Fortescue and Mr. Marmaduke were fully aware of your kidnapping by aliens, but they, they were actually with you on, on, on the ship. But they, they felt that you were rather uh, a capable young chap, and they thought that you could handle the situation yourself, and that they really didn't want to interfere. Because they thought if they helped you, you might feel like less of a man. But they did find the whole situation rather amusing. And they also came with you on your road trip with your, your grandfather. They were actually in the car with you. And they, they found that escapade rather amusing too. They, they like your adventures. They, they think they're, they're wonderful. They'd love to come with you on, on your escapades and that they'd like to continue to be with you on your adventures for the rest of your entire life, however long or short that may be. They, they, they do believe that you're probably going to die soon because you, you would seem to keep escaping, escaping in death again and again and they think your luck will probably run out very soon. So they are probably going to stay with you for a few more weeks and then they think you'll probably be killed and then they're going to come back to me because they, they think I've been punished enough by being deprived of their superior presence and they're feeling a little bit sorry for me and they, they view me as, as being the sorry fellow which I find a little bit insulting and, and once you've died they're going to come home with me uh, whoa, son! This is just some really crazy, crazy crap going on here. And, and I, I started to think, are they really ghosts? Or was this British Sean bitch actually on the cruise too? Was he actually on the cruise? Did he actually follow me onto this cruise? And he was just there somewhere on the ship and he was watching everything going on. And maybe he never actually jumped ship. When everybody else jumped off that ship, maybe he was still there, looking around in the shadows, and he was actually watching me. And there were no ghosts. They were just his, him and his imaginary friends with me on that ship. And when, when I was abducted by aliens, they, he was just sitting around in my bar, watching. And then saw me running off down the street, and he could have just been watching. And I didn't know what to think, son. I thought, has he just been looking around, watching, watching me in the shadows? Or, or, or has his imaginary friends, or ghosts, have they actually been really with me? And I didn't know what to think. I, I, it couldn't be proven one way or the other, son. I mean, he could have watched me drive away with my grandpa, and, and he imagined that his, his friends were with me in the car, but it could have been that he just saw me drive down the street, and, it, and it's all in his head. I, I, I just don't know what to believe. Are they ghosts, or are they his imaginary friends? I, I couldn't think of any way to test this or prove this, but he, he told me that they're going to stay with me for the rest of my damn life, so I'll, I'll either he's insane uh, and when he leaves, I'll still be by myself in the bar because they're imaginary friends and they're not here at all. Or if they're ghosts, he's going to leave 
and they're going to be with me, sat in my bar, which really freaks me out son. Because what, what, what are they gonna, gonna do? They're gonna be watching me all the time. I, I'm gonna be in the shower and these ghosts are gonna be with me. I'm gonna go to bed and they're gonna be in my room. They're just gonna be standing there or sitting in the chairs while I'm asleep in bed. They're just gonna be sitting there staring at me, looking forward to coming with me on my next adventure. And, and that just really freaked me out, so I, I, I don't know how to cope with this. And, and, and he said to me, well, I, I told him this. I, I said, how, how am I gonna, gonna cope with having these ghosts, if that's what they really are, coming around with me all the time? And, and he said, oh, Mr. Fortescue and Mr. Momager, they are perfectly harmless and they, they really like you. And they only want the best for you, although they did want you dead. And that last time, they very much wanted to see you die. And the time before, when we first met, when we, we all first met and had a, a wonderful time together. Uh, and, and they wanted you to die then. But they don't want you to die right now. But they just believe you will soon. But they, they really like you. They like you so much. And they like you a little bit more than me, which I, I'm... I'm rather sad about it because I, I, I thought we were so close. And, but now, now I realize I'm not as close to Mr. Marmaduke and Mr. Fortescue as I once thought I was. Uh, and uh, I find that rather disappointing. Uh, what, what, what's that? Mr. Fortescue said he, he's, he's, he's feeling rather guilty now for, for leaving me and coming to be with you. Uh, and oh, oh dear, Mr. Marmaduke has begun to cry. Uh, I've never seen Mr. Marmaduke cry before. No, Mr. Fortescue has got his hand on his shoulder and he's, he's trying to comfort him. And no, oh no, Mr. Fortescue's crying as well now. They're both crying. Uh, oh, oh, they're, they're trying, trying to, they're trying to, trying to fight the tears. Uh, oh, and they're, oh they're, they're feeling very embarrassed now. Uh, oh. They, they said they, they couldn't possibly be with you now because they've shown, shown such emotion. Uh, and they, they think you, you'll now think less of them because they've, they've given in, in to their feelings. Because they, they don't like to show their feelings to anyone because they, they, they feel so superior to everyone and they feel they mustn't show any emotion whatsoever. And now they've shown emotion to you. They, they couldn't possibly spend any time with you at all now, and they're going to come home with me after all. And, and oh, they're coming towards the door. I'd stand aside if, if I were you, Mr. Hootwistle. I, 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 I wouldn't want you to be standing there as they walk through you. And, oh, yes. What's that, Mr. Fortescue? Uh, oh, Mr. Fortescue said they've changed their minds. They, they said that they, they've had a, a sudden change of heart. And they feel that maybe, maybe it's okay to show emotion after all. And after all, it is the 21st century. And, and they, they both lived in the 19th century when, when it wasn't proper to show emotions. And they believe they should have a stiff upper lip. And, but now, now they're feeling they should move forward in, in to the modern world and, and they're going to actually stay with you after all. Isn't that wonderful, Mr. Hooperson, that Mr. Fortescue and Mr. Marmaduke are, are going to spend lots more time with you after all. So they, they will be with you till you die. So I, I think I'll leave you now. So I, I do have more friends back at my apartment. Uh, and Mr. Fortescue and Mr. Marmaduke aren't, aren't my only friends. And there are many, many more. And, and I, I won't be lonely, so don't worry about me, Mr. Hoot Whistle. I, I, I will be perfectly fine. I, I'm a little sad to, to part company with Mr. Fortescue and Mr. Marmaduke, but it's, I suppose it's time now. Uh, they're yours now, Mr. Hootwistle. They, they are your companions for life. So, it, it's, been, it's been a lovely time. 
I, I always enjoy our encounters, Mr. Hootless. I always enjoy it when we see each other. I, I think we have such wonderful, wonderful times together, all four of us. Uh, and and th this we may meet again. I, I may pop round every now and then to see Mr. Fortescue and Mr. Marmaduke and see how they're doing, see how 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 they're faring, and maybe they can tell me about your adventures. And all four of us can sit together by the fire and. Uh, and, of course, you'll have to sit on the floor, Mr. Hood, so as, as we're superior to you. But, but we, we can all have what, such a fun times together, reminiscing and, and talking of, of lovely times. Uh, I couldn't believe what, what this, this guy was saying. He, he is truly nuts, eh? uh, and, and, and he, he just walked away down the street. I, I started to get the shivers. I started to get the shivers, son. So I thought, if this is real, and these two guys are actually ghosts, then they're, they're just standing there right behind me. And they're just staring at me, and I, I can't see them. And they're just going to haunt me for the rest of my damn life, if they're real. And, and I, I just didn't know what to do about this, and it's just nothing I can do, unless I, I find some kind of exorcist. Hey, can you find an exorcist in the phone book, son? I don't know. So I'm going to haunt it for the rest of my life unless I can find a way to get rid of these ghosts if they're real.